Uh, we're going to get free meals so our refractories are a little bit better. Uh, we might also go for this, frankly. Free for all students. You gain some money when students use the dormitories, but they are less effective. Yeah, you know what? We'll see how it goes with, with paying through the nose for everything. Again, we are generating stupid amounts of money, and a large part of that, like a disproportionately large part of that, because we've got f gold... Uh, well, okay, n not necessarily goldfish, but we've got fish in the common rooms. So when our students are sleeping or when they're just relaxing, they are making me money. Best of days, truly. Truly. Uh... Other than that, yeah, we, we're, we're pretty gold positive at the moment. And very mana positive in most things. But I think with that, it's time for us to unpause and see how things go. Turtle of the Moon. What a fantastic name. I really can't procrastinate sleeping any longer, but wanted to leave a little thank you on my way out for all of the truly dapper content. It always makes my day a little bit better than it might have been. Oh, that's a lovely thing for you to say. <laughs> thank you. Right, we've got a trip for our goonie pig we are currently friends with the peasants very good friends friends with the orcs becoming friends with the lords of e well we are friends with the lords of Edel, but uh, we've slowed down their progress as a consequence of that we're friends with the adventurers over 75 this is a quest this is just nice but let's go ahead and try and finish the quest city under the mountain i'm going to give you some shadow and light banner boom and we are so close uh on that note uh, leprechaun Skull. When a student is at least level 1 in Assassination and Demonology, they receive the Leprechaun Skull, and Shadow Magic will now grant them... Oh, actually, no, the Skull. The needs of active teachers in this room increase more slowly, and they may lose their unionized trait. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, we're gonna get rid of that. Uh, so, the coffee machine in here is uh, reducing their tiredness gain by 100% for a few minutes, but also gives them a small chance of unionizing, so we need to counteract that by putting this over here in the uh, the apartment there. We will use that to pull away their chance of unionizing. We've got a mage hat in both of these, which has a small chance of improving their pedagogy. So quite a lot of our, our teachers are very good at this point, I would imagine. Can I actually bring up your pedagogy? Yeah, excellent pedagogy, excellent pedagogy. Honestly, most of our teachers are gonna be stupidly good at their job. Uh, some of the ones that I've only recently taken on might not be as great, but. Uh, we'll have a look around. Uh, you're only appropriate, but you're a janitor. It takes a while for you to go up. Uh, mediocre. Okay, so not, not, it hasn't hit as many of them, but unfortunately, we've got a lot of teachers and not a lot of places for them to rest, so that's going to happen a little bit. Uh, okay. Goldfish produce gold. I know. Who knew, right? Now, I am... Well, we've only got three applicants, that's great. Courageous Light Sleeper. Look, claustrophobia and down to earth will probably be stripped from you. That's fine. You're smart, well off, and you're going to be here for seven years. You're a definite take. Smart, it doesn't matter if you're not particularly wealthy. In fact, I think I've got a pet that makes people more wealthy gradually. Uh, you're also going to be here for seven years, so that's a very much a yes. Uh, athletic, steadfast, well-behaved worker. Under three years. I'm going to say no to you. I really want people who are going to be here for the long haul. Also, we've got Temporal Magic, which is helping with that a little bit. Um, oh, the Observatory. We are going to take that over the Observatory. I want the main common room to allow our students to just become smarter over time. Oh, that's amazing. Hooray! What does ISP mean? Internet Service Provider. Uh, it's basically just a joke, because uh, yesterday was meant to be the streaming of this university, and I got halfway through it before my ISP um, brain farted. Oh, to be fair. My ISP had sent a message, but uh, Lady Shelab was the one to, to pick it up about planned works yesterday, and forgot to tell me. So I was streaming happily, and then come 9am, boom, no internet until 6 p.m. Much sads. Much sads happen. Oh, Wombat with the final gift sub. Wombat. 
The second significant digit of your already far, far too long number of gifts subbed, of subbed gifts, has changed. The second significant digit. Why? Ah, oh, dude. Thank you so much, mate. That's absolutely bonkers. I do not even... Thank you so, so much, mate. That is ridiculous levels of support. And again, please. I'm gonna say it again. Uh, I am not gonna be that person that, that, that turns down gifts because some people are just in ridiculously good places in their life where money is, has become trivial to them. But if that is not the amazing place that you find yourself in, please, 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 do not think that it is a requirement on any level. You've already given so much to this channel. It is ridiculous. Thank you so much for your support. It is beyond appreciated. But please do be sure you take care of yourself. Captain Thypo, thank you very much for the seven months, buddy. Uh, I sound like a bloody mother hen. Some people just have oodles of disposable income. Some people don't. And the problem is, is I can't tell which one's which. Uh oh. Hello. We're hungry. Hum, and what can I do about that? Uh, the humans will find us something to eat. Otherwise, we'll eat the human. And the small humans living in the human's house. We'll also eat the house that the human and the small humans live in. And probably the human's pets, too. With some herbs and aromatics. Uh, let's gather a round of cheese banquet. Yes! Three prestige. Hooray for cheese! Thank you very much, cheese maker cheese. Alright, let's have a look. Congratulations! Thanks to your efforts and wisdom, our school has become a renown has become renowned for arcane magic. Alright. We've got two out of the three stars, which now means Which now means we can change this house. The Rizal house no longer need to be a quest house specifically. Um, I do like the idea that it's focusing on, on Arcane. I would kind of like the idea of it focusing on arcane, arcane and Alchemy, and then allowing Nature, Light, and Shadow. But they'll focus on that. Sparktick will focus on, on um, Nature and Shadow. I won't have one that focuses on Light. I guess I could, actually. Um, but now, arcane, the Arcane is no longer an important one for me. Like, previously, I wanted to ensure that my students weren't taking up spots. Uh, I mean, I could... I could reduce things that... Hmm. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of okay with this right now. I could really specialize them, and I could say that Rizal can't teach Shadow or Nature. Sparktick cannot teach... Arcane or alchemy or light and just to have them only work in a single class, but I, I really don't f uh, Like they can do shadow and nature there. They can do arcane and alchemy and they just get light at the end I don't know if that's good though. I Feel that we're definitely at the point now where dungeons are a feasible thing like some of our people are so good in so many ways So ridiculously good Interdimensional room, uh, power tiara. Uh, let's go for the interdimensional room. Want another one to get the abyssal portal if we can. All right, time to damn it to go to bed, but I shall be back unless Avax Internet decides to take a day off. Later, <laughs> take care, Tammy. Have a good one, mate. Uh, we still need to visit the dwarves. Ooh, the end pine. Perfect. Um, or I can go for the stable. Mm. But the Ant Pine will teach Druidism in the spring, Elementalism in summer, and Necromancy in the fall. And the, I really feel the Ant Pine is such a powerful one. We, if you stick it in a common room, boom. There you go. Just great times. You're dumb. You're, you're straight up dumb. And you're only here for three years. There, there's no redeeming that. Seven years, but normal. Uh, well off, though. I'll accept. 
We're currently just waiting for the Goonie Pig, and we're going to head over to the Dwarves and say hi. We've all just passively gotten to the point where new students are wealthier on average now because of the King. And we are almost passively at the point where the Inquisition are going to allow us to gain more mana. Uh, no bed, store. Oh, right, okay, before heat becomes lethal. Yeah, that makes sense, actually. <laughs> Take care of yourself, buddy. All right, let's go and say hi to the dwarves once again. Uh, I have brought you alchemy stuff. There we go. And we've got it. Ah, the mage. I have some good news for you. After the help you've given us, the Dwarven Council has decided to resurrect the ancient alliance between dwarves and humans. We will destroy the army of darkness together. No small victory. That is actually pretty awesome. Right, reliquary. Or Pyre. An ancient, an active character in this room has a chance of becoming good and learning the trait that allows him to learn light magic faster. Um, no, I want another Chamber of Truth if I can. But do we need it there? No, so we're going to pop it up top and have a new Chamber of Truth. Which means at long last, it's time for us to get a new teacher. <laughs> Alright, now, Anonymous very expressly asked to get a demonology teacher. So what I'm going to do is because they probably just didn't understand the way we were going to do naming. It's literally whatever order I get them in. I'm going to refund that name. So you sheeple, you get the teacher instead. Right. Uh, let's see. Ancient Wisdom Elder, Light Sleeper, Mediocre Pedagogy, or Excellent Pedagogy over here. Um, Austin, Natural Good, Unionized, Erudite increases the learning rate of the students in this room. That's amazing. So that's 30% faster. All right, sure. And we're going with you, sheeple. Welcome to the school. Child's eating bed. I mean, it's never a bad thing. Uh, janitor's Lodge. How filthy is our school? Oh, much filth. Um... And I've upgraded almost all of the janitor's areas to being higher level by a lot. Right. The next thing, I'm going to pop in there, I think. But at this point, we start going to see the king, I think. Uh, brilliant, you're only here for three works, but you are brilliant, so I... Ugh. Yeah, it's okay. Normal, arcane scholar, well behaved, you're wealthy, be you here for seven years, for sure, I'll take you. Parkerfin hat, uh, cheese, I want a millowing feather, uh, well I guess I'll go with that and see what we get. Uh, destruction potion, greatly injures all attackers, don't need. Farmers, our local jousting stadium is not as prestigious as our neighbours, it would seem. What a shame to hear such things. You're right, time to spruce it up. Draw the card stadium. If all you gave, if all of you just gave two gold coins, the price of a cup of coffee, we could renovate the entire <laughs> stadium. <laughs> uh. <laughs> it's the team that matters, not the stadium. <laughs> the price of a cup of coffee, Chad. <sighs> no, we'll just uh, go for the stadium. Let's upgrade it. Pop. Got some more banners in there. Nice. Bright Refectory, right there. Sleeper Soul, Cheese, Unicorn Horn, Void Potion, Cell. Window to another world. Active students in this room slightly improve portal magic. Improve the council as well. The Amarelli, uh, sorry, Armillary Sphere. Characters working here have a small chance to get the Passionate Trait, which makes them better at specializing in other forms of magic. I think we're going to go for the Window to another world. Frankly. Um, where do we want to put it? I could pop it in here. I could also pop it in there, but I, I think, uh, yeah, we'll pop the window there to another world so that they'll get better at portal magic just from being in the room. This is really starting to stack up now. Okay, the army of darkness is close, so I think it's probably high time for us to... to... It's a shame we didn't go on the adventure yet. Okay, here's the thing. We're going to go on the adventure before we let them graduate. Okay? Genius move. We're not going to let them out of school until they've gone and risked their lives. Uh, smart well off, but you're not here for long enough, I would say. 
Okay, pause. <laughs> am I actually going to be that much of a dick? Uh, yes, yes, I am. Okay, we'll take the easier dungeon first. The non-dwarven dungeon. Yes, let's go for an expedition. Oh, you know what I should have done? I should have put everyone, everyone into the Sparktic. Um, is it too late? Practical exam for the for the final to graduate. We could come back later. Return to the school with the option to explore this dungeon later. Yeah, but we probably we wouldn't have the um the uh what's the word the goonie pick available. Shame. Right, life drain. You've got herbalism, so you'll heal other students. You've also got protective runes. Grants a nine shield points before each combat. Uh, heals the other students in the a file for two health points each time that student acts. Increases all mana and gold gains in the dungeon. Also gives a 40% chance to completely dodge an attack. Uh, life Drain, a fancy spell that inflicts 8 damage on the closest enemy and heals the cast for 8. After acting, gives other students in the row 40% chance of acting. And grants a 40% chance of doubling all damage dealt and all shields created by your spells. Oh my god, Esther. You're ridiculously good. Okay, you can heal a little bit from behind. You've also got Wild Fury, an offensive spell that inflicts four damage to the closest enemy, gains four power after each attack for the duration of combat. You'll uh, give yourself a little bit of a shield. An offensive spell that does four damage to two random enemies. Uh, you'll also have a chance of dodging. Heroism lowers all incoming damage by two, cannot go lower than one. An offensive spell that increases the shields of all students in the group by two. After ten rounds, triggers a random known spell instead. Uh, we could go with that. Or retaliation grants a 20% chance. Uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll think about it. Uh, we've got a lot of people with some decent abilities there. Paralysis, an offensive spell that inflicts six damage to the closest enemy with a 30% chance of paralyzing them. Let's have a look at necromancy first. Let's see all of our necromancers together. I can't believe you've got protective glyphs. That's just bonkers. Um, this will give six shield points, but it's not as high of a necromancy stat. Yeah, we haven't got too many who are very good necromancers, sadly. Um... Still, you've got armor there, but you haven't got any healing as well. But the assassination and the, the chance to get to have additional acting is, is pretty good. You would do a bit of healing, maybe. All right, let's have a look at uh, beast magic then. Oh, sorry, Beast Magic is a swarm. No, 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 we want Druidism. I mean, you're a solid pick. I think you're, at the very least, going to go here. But there is a good chance I could put you further up. What about s Protective Ritual? Spiritual Magic. Or Sacred Magic, rather. Um... Everyone in the group by a little bit there. That's not terrible. I kind of feel that you'd be useful. Courageous and increased health. Sure, we'll pop you there. And I want you to use spiritual magic. Um, I feel that you're going to be an amazing frontliner. And let's... Elementalism is good, but I really don't think it's better than necromancy. Life drain at the front is quite often better, in my opinion, simply because they have such a good chance of uh, just re restoring their own health. Because they're going to be taking the most damage throughout the fight, generally speaking. Of uh, course, I could have you at the back here with this wild fury 
Yeah, actually, you know what? I think we'll pop you there. We won't go with elementalism here. We've only got one person who drains life, but they're so good in everything else. Okay, I think this is a good setup here. You're going to keep us shielded. You're going to do just stupid damage. Yeah, I think this is good. Life draining is good if you lack spiritual magic? What's spiritual magic? I'm not familiar with that one, I'm afraid. Oh, you mean sacred magic. Protective shield. Right, 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 yeah. No, that one will only activate ten times. You've only got one person who's got it, so yeah, I would say we probably do lack it. All right, time to start the adventure, chat. Now, this is how the adventures work. We go on a tea break. <laughs> uh, even on live streams, you're not safe from cliffhangers. We're going to go on a tea break for a couple of minutes. And when we get back, you're going to get to see a full-on adventure with actually a pretty strong group. I'm going to be honest. I'm actually pretty happy with this group. I think we're going to do well with them. Especially because I don't think this uh, tower is going to be too difficult. Well, I mean, it is an Archmage Tower, so who knows. But I shall be back in about five or six minutes. Time enough for me to make myself a cup of tea so I can trick my insides into thinking my outsides are cooler than they actually are. And also an ice lolly. So I can prep my insides to have a, a starker kind of temperature shock. Hopefully, this, this kind of chemistry magic will work. Probably it won't. It'll make me feel hotter than I am already, which... Actually, no, it can't. It literally can't. I, I, I am slowly melting. I, please send help. I am dying. I'll be back soon. Get up. Go hydrate. You probably need it. Yeah, it's overcast. Right. Well, I mean, the overcast can sometimes be a bit of an issue, but the rain should cool things down. Today is going to be a lot better than it was yesterday. Um, where it peaked over over thirty. Down like realistically, I'm in Scotland, so I'm super far north in the UK. Down south towards London Way, they've been saying highs of 40. And again, remember, Britain, like 90% of British houses do not have AC. Most shops don't. Most offices do. Um, so in work, you'll be cooler than you will be at home. Like, we don't have AC. That's not, it's not. Our houses are built to keep the heat in, not to let it out. Because that's the norm for this area. Trying to sleep through 30 degree heat when you the best you've got is a fan. And even then, it's just moving the air around. <sighs> right. Okay, time to start an adventure. Dunk. Archmage Septimus Tower. Septimus, ex-master of Archmage Postumus, <laughs> has since become known for his paranoia. His old tower is filled with treasures, but also with as many treasures, traps, and evil creatures tasked with defending the old Archmage's territory. We've got one phoenix feather, chat. We can bring someone back to life. The vast hall is silent and dark, and its alcoves hold graves marked with runic symbols. In the room's center is an altar with offerings. Let's get the offerings. They must not be very... Uh, let's get the offerings. They must not be very useful. We can draw a crypt card, receive 400 gold. Well, there will be 720 because of our things, and we'll fight some spectres. Let's see what we can find in those graves. We'll fight four spectres, but we'll also get some shadow mana and a skull card. Let's not touch anything. We wouldn't want to disturb this sleep. Let's offer something to the occupants. Uh, so the occupants will appreciate it. It'll reduce the threat. Our threat level is not particularly high right now. Um... Ah, sorry, we'll fight four spectres. Alright, so, right now we don't have any special abilities. I don't think anyone here had ink. Or did someone have ink? No, sadly, no one has the ability to make scrolls as we go, so it'll just be the scrolls we pick up. They've got very little uh, damage here, very little health, got a little bit of armor, and a decent amount of shielding, to be fair. Okay, attack! 
healed a bit. They automatically got a turn. There we go. They managed to dodge completely. Thanking you. Okay, should we keep going? Yes. Increase the threat by two. We find a notebook floating above a pedestal with the inscription, The Private Diary of Archmage Septimus. Archmage Septimus built this tower long ago, so his thoughts could be invaluable. Unfortunately, the book is guarded by a group of particularly large arcane elementals. Let's get hold of this book. We'll immediately trigger a new encounter without the possibility of runaway. Forget the journal. Let's get what we came for. Uh, what came from this room. Elementals don't seem to care. Mana and a plain telescope. Let's take a moment to study the elementals from a distance. Uh, a lot of arcane mana. Our elementalists should be able to handle some elementals. That would drop their difficulty a lot, but we'll just go with level 7 elementals. It's fine. Okay, let's go. Tonk. That, that ability to dodge is amazeballs. Wow. Actual amazeballs. You get. Archmage's journal reacts to your touch. It's magically protected and it's starting to erase itself. You have little time to choose the chapter of the Archmage's life to read. Let's focus on the chapter about the student, Posthumus. We'll immediately trigger a new encounter. Let's focus on the chapter about the tower's construction. Let's focus on the chapter about potions he invented. Uh, Posthumus. According to Septimus' journal, your skull mentor, Posthumus, because that Posthumus is the skull that we carry around, dabbled in demonic magic and was looking into some dangerous rituals. It even seems he was friends with the Lord of Evil. A very long time ago. Everybody makes mistakes. What kind of demonic spells are we talking about? 2,000 Shadow Mana? Which I think will be bumped up to 3,600 based on our ability to get extra loot. I'm not sure which one gives that to us. Oh, uh... Resource transfer. Or light. What horror! We won't make the same mistake. <laughs> Damn. We are 100% going down the demon route. It's more fun. Uh, keep going. Or monsters in the Archmage Tower hit harder. Mad Mage's Laboratory. Smelly alembics, poison flasks, blood vials, cauldrons filled with the strange concoctions, creature bits in jars. The alchemists who, uh, so the alchemists who lived here have no limits to their experiments. Take the potions. Uh, we'll fight a couple of cultists and a demon prince, or destroy this laboratory. They are a threat to the entire region. Uh, well, actually, plus, um, card, destructive potion, demonic distillation, bottle glory. I don't actually care for the potions, really. Sure, I'll take the faction standing with the king. <laughs> okay, fighting a demon. 30 shield, but everyone's going to attack the demon before we attack anything else, so it shouldn't be too rough for us. That crit chance from assassination giving us an ability to fight there is just amazeballs. Thank you very much for all of that. That was actually pretty solid there. I'm really glad we came to do this dungeon when we did. Okay, should we keep going? Of course we should. Stupid question. A large empty room houses a gorgeous fountain covered in plants. I'm sure you can, Nico Blazewind. Unless it's put a bowl of, of ice water in front of the fan. I think everyone knows that one. But if it's anything other than that, go for it. Um, the vital essence flowing through it is tangible. Take a bit of energy. Use the water to heal our wounds. We don't have wounds, but we can get healing cards. Dungeon cards. There we go. Restores the student's entire health. Unfortunately, it won't reattach a decapitated head. Uh, that's a shame, but we'll take it. The endangered musician, a bard, is under attack from a group of goblins and struggles to defend himself with his mandolin. He screams for help as he sees you. We must help him. Let's ignore him. Goblins? Ah, they'll run my... Uh, they'll run the second they see us. Um, we do not have enough heroism, sadly. Okay. I have to fight 
a while as well, but that's okay. A bar in the tower? This deep? Well, I mean, we're actually fairly early on in the tower. I'm not sure how, like, is there an end to the dungeons? Can you get to a point where you've gotten so good in the dungeon that you beat the dungeon? Or do you eventually have to just leave? Like, this is slowly filling up and the fights are getting worse. But once it's completely filled, is that it? You, you've won. I don't know. The bard is quick to thank you. He explains how he ventured into this place looking for the astral piano, an ancient relic from the forgotten civilization. Actually, he would love some help, as the relic is guarded by a dragon and some goblins. Uh, of course we'll help. The great battle for the astral piano. The dragon is here, asleep on what seems to be the astral piano. Two goblins are polishing its scales while it sleeps. Let's get the piano. These goblins are servants. Someone who speaks their language could convince them to help us. Has the trait half orc? <laughs> nice. It, this is why you really want to spread out your traits. Yes, we'll just fight the the dragon. Okay. That's uh, you. Okay. <laughs> I was about to say, stop going up, number. Uh, I'm defending my internet because yesterday the forces of evil took my internet out in an attempt to thwart the efforts of our university. But we got better. I love that ability to just dodge. It's so good. I dislike your ability to hit multiples so that's kind of sucks but it doesn't really matter we win the bard thanks you enthusiastically okay he might struggle to get the piano out of the dungeon but he will manage somehow in the meantime he would like to thank you and offers his version of a magical chant as a reward chant of protection might be useful loads of healing bark skin phoenix feather nice draw the ancient harp or a chant of stealth reduces the threat by one draw the ancient harp or a chant of wisdom an extra phoenix feather would be good. Let's go. Okay, we should keep going. Uh, forward. Okay, we've got the ancient the the heart. We've got two phoenix feathers, so we can resurrect twice. Gives a student two armor points at the beginning of combat and for its whole duration. Beware, dark knight's armor. Uh, okay. Next hallway is extremely dark, and you f hear the sound of hooves coming towards you fast. Let's proceed carefully. They must be dark knights. Let's wait here to fight the light. Fight in the light. Um, we haven't got enough heroism. There's more than dark knights. There's another animal. Let's go see. Uh, we don't have enough beast magic, sadly. It's probably not just coconuts banged together. Let's turn around. <laughs> ah, wonderful. Okay, so two dark knights. They've got a good amount of damage there and a decent amount of armor, but we will punch through this. Got a bunch of keys now, which is great. Wow, a crit hit on that first. That's bonkers good. That assassination is doing work. Really is. Yep, keep going. But again, does anyone know if this fills up? And then once it gets to the top, we win. Trapdoors, poison darts, poisonous clouds. This corridor is filled with deadly traps. Moving through it will require great care. We shall retrace our steps and find another way. Uh, we do not have enough in assassination. Our eagle-eyed elf should be able to guide the group. Sad. Uh, or... Uh, I don't have two enchantment workshop. Disarm and gather material for those traps for our workshops. Oh well. Reasoning by eight. Sad. Let's continue on though. That was a big hit. On the floor, in the middle of the corridor, is a pentagram. There's a tooltip. When you mouse over it, does it say, oh. Um, the danger beat fills after each encounter. The higher it is, the stronger the monsters. Encounters will become more difficult, but also give more loot. On the floor, in the middle of the corridor, is a pentagram circled with candles. You will have to cross it to continue. This is quite clearly a demonic summoning circle. The demonologists love to use a security for their homes. Our students know a lot about demons. This will be a piece of cake. Pentacle, demonic chamber. Well, it's got to be crossed. Let's turn around and find another. Let's put up some runic protection to weaken the pentagram. Uh, no, we'll go with this. Okay, it's going to be a bit of a rough fight, this one, but that's fine. I could give bark skin out. Uh, yeah, let's go for that. 
It's not a battle. I'm gonna have to get through their shield before I can do anything else, so. Thankfully, time travel magic, ultra cool. Hey, maybe I didn't need that at all. My bad. Okay, duly noted. Uh, better to have used it than and not needed it than to have needed it and not used it. The area is completely overgrown. A crude stone circle stands in the center of the room, and in the middle of the circle shines a small green emerald. Let's get the emerald. Our druids should take time to inspect the monoliths. Uh, yes. Yep, the druids are adamant. These monoliths are sleeping trolls. Large trolls. Large trolls with very rocky features. We could learn a lot from these venerable trolls. Move forward. Now, you'll notice that some things I pick up aren't going down here. That's because those are, that's loot I'm taking back with me to my to the uh, academy. Someone said it scales until you get one shot. Okay, so basically we'll go until it starts getting really dicey and then we'll bail. We won't try to win. Smelly Alembics, Poison Flasks, uh, Blood Vials, Cauldrons filled with strange concoctions. Uh, destroy the laboratory, they're a threat to the region. Um... Yeah, I actually still want the king, the king's uh, faction standing. Death to cultist! How dare! I mean, not that I care. I, I'm not part of a cult. I definitely don't lead one. No one in my chat knows anything about cults. Just like robes. I think it would be intriguing to dedicate an entire school to dungeon delving. Maybe focus on light magic and temporal magic for your tanks and forbid it for everyone else. Then teach on the one attack skill, probably druidism, and then just don't build any other attack skill classrooms at all. Imagine how great the students could become in their special combat roles. Yeah, no, seriously. Very much so. Oh, they almost got me down to, through my uh, shield there. Scary. Uh, you find yourself before gigantic stone calendar. And this is not any old calendar. It's the one from the Great Prophecy. The one that heralds the arrival of evil. A group of cultists stands mute in religious silence before the monument. Let's talk to them about the important upcoming cosmic alignments. Let's blend in and take part in the ritual. Burn everything and destroy the cursed calendar. Let's take the cultists by surprise. So we can study the calendar. Yeah, I would like two observatories, honestly. So, sure. <laughs> Disapprove of the cultist's abilities, honestly. That ability to drain our shield, much not good. Oof. That was dicey. Okay, forward. A group of wargs is sharing the remains of a reckless adventurer. Thankfully, they haven't seen you. Be brave. Run away! Let's attack and give the unfortunate soul a proper burial. Let's attack and use the Phoenix Feather to save the adventure. Ooh. Yes. Now, each one of these could one-shot my tanks. Sadly. Looks like they double attack, which is scary. I think maybe it's time for us to head back. We're getting to a point now, we've just used the Phoenix Feather. But, yeah, we're, 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 we're struggling, I would say. One more. Okay, one more. You enter a large welcoming room where goblins and knights drink at various tables. Some wags are eating from bowls. And a lich is recharging a golem. A waiter leads you to your table and gives you a bottle, inside of which floats quite a few hornets. Tavern Brawl! Oh god, look at their levels, though. Thank you, but we did not order this. 
<sighs> All right, bottoms up. Okay, everything here can kill us. I wonder when I can use that. I need crits, peeps. That lich is going to be a massive pain. Ouch. Can I use that at all? No, I cannot. Oh, time travel, but... Oh, that lich, yeah, the lich was going to be the, the big problem there. Well, that sucked. We lost four amazing students. Deeply sucked. Blame Saru. Yes. Hashtag blame Saru. And Frodato. Chat killed Avex pupils. You listened to the trolls in chat. <laughs> I did. But we got 720 gold, 3,672 mana, 18 prestige, reputation with the kingdom of 50, reputation with the adventure guilds of 85, a crypto card, skull card, demonic chamber times three, ancient harp, pentacle card, nature's rune card, the sylvan king's horns, observatory times two, weapon rank times one, and wolves two times one. Now, the consequence for chat leading me astray in such a way uh, means that we're not going on the second dungeon right now. Also, fairly certain, we uh, just lost a bunch of students who were about to graduate. So sad. But crypt time. Uh, we've already got everything we need there, so I think a new crypt is on the cards. Right up there. Donk. Okay, we're going to need some new names. Uh, King Fanks is the next one. We've got a couple of others that we're going to want. Uh, let's see. Excellent pedagogy. All right, King Fanks. Dunk. Fun job, love around belly. The excellent pedagogy is what we're going for there. Uh, demonic chamber. Do we need more? Yes. Let's get that demonic chamber in place. Summon forbidden. The ancient harp. Active sinners in this room can no longer suffer from aberrations and misbehave less for a long time. Ooh. Maybe useful. We'll pop into the refectory. Uh, a new demonic chamber as well, I think. Pop you there. Uh, good pedagogy, appropriate. We'll go with... Well, we can increase pedagogy. J. Rosalind. There we go. And we're immediately going to dump this one in there as well. And get you Infernal Spellbook. Now, our nature room, we've already got one. They don't really gain any benefit, realistically. Active characters in this room have a chance of becoming bad and earning a trait that allows them to learn shadow magic faster. I'll pop it in there, sure. Skull, this, uh, the needs of active teachers in this room increases more slowly and they may lose the unionized trait. Where's the staff? Well, the staff refactory is there. Now, the thing is, I could just move this around until I found the right spot for it. Let's pop you in there. Um... Uh, the same kind of goes for this. I'll hold on to it until I've got a better place to put it. Wolf's Tooth, let's use it. Weapons Rack. Slightly increases Assassination and Retribution. Um, where do we want to put you? Is there anywhere particularly good for you? Ah, uh, sure, we'll pop it up here. In fact, that's the best room for it because it's the right house. Observatory. Let's pop an observatory right in the middle here. Dunk. All right, astronomy teacher, inspiring. Ex inquisitor, punctual steadfast. Ah, oh, we'll go with inspiring. Macgiola, Clementine Macgiola, and this shall be anonymous. You are voracious, but we can probably fix that. 
and then drop another one in the observatory. The observatory is the one that I like upgrading the most because it gets such cool things. Even though it doesn't actually have any benefit, it just looks so much nicer. We could drop down a couple more nat uh, rooms as well, like nature rooms and such. That might well be worth it. Let's get a nature room super far, far up. Another inspiring teacher. You shall be. Yes, Kiwis can fly. And I think we're just going to upgrade the efficiency of these rooms for now. There we go. All right. Wow. So much done. All right. I'm just going to clear off a couple of the naming games now. Just take me a moment. Okay. Perfect. Got too late. All right, then. Let's see what we can place down. We've got Demon Tapestry. Active soon as this room. Slightly improve the demonology skills. We can get a crypt. Demonic chamber. Uh, actually, I wouldn't mind getting another demonic chamber over there because we've got to build this one up to three. And a new prison if we really wanted to. Sure, let's get a prison. We'll upgrade the... Ooh. Uh, yeah, we'll upgrade this prison. Rehabilitation. They'll lose the bully or antisocial or, um, and aggressive negative traits, but don't really want to lose that. Imprisoned students become lawful. Ah, uh, uh, well, yeah, sure. We'll, we'll, we'll drop that, I suppose. Uh, chains we can put in there. The Raven Shoulder Pads. They receive Raven Shoulder Pads, which generate one reputation point with the Lord of Evil every time the student gains a shadow magic level. Uh, Assassin's Arena. Get another Assassin's Arena, I guess. Is there anything else we can add? Oh, yeah, there is. We can add the obstacle course. They are. They'll become athletes, hopefully. Um, private apartments. Once again. Oh, thank goodness. So let's pop that there. There we go. We can now get what we need. Oh, my lord. And that is a uh, rune scriptorum right there. I'm back, and I see the Dark Lord has has swallowed us. Yes, yes. All right, so we did we did unfortunately sacrifice four students. I didn't want to, but chat insisted. Uh, we'll take the guard, sure. Vampire count straight out. Hallucinogenic plant gardener. I mean, I'm tempted, but no. Uh, another guard. Royal guard, though. Let's go for the royal guard. Yes, gain ten gold for every interaction with the king. Two prestige for that. Another royal guard. Wow. Brave Digger, sure, we'll grab you. Adventurer, we can definitely get better than that. Oh man, I really wanted to see what the Inquisition Blacksmith was like. Go with Adventure there. Village Mage, uh, Village Mage, I guess. Stonecutter, Barber. All right. What? What? The parents? Uh, yes, yeah, sadly, I think. What is chat if not the embodiment of greed? Well, I mean, it's fair. Uh, yeah, the the Lord of Evil moves faster the closer they get. The high, the, like, over time, they just move faster and faster and faster. Which is why it's never possible to completely forestall the Lord of Evil. I think it used to be, but that was patched out. <laughs>